Hi, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe and hit that like button and also hit that bell so you get future videos. So today's video is going to be on a Moxon antenna for 6 meters. I found this uh, on uh, YouTube, uh, N1PCE, John Ryan did the first video, so it's actually his design as far as I know. It's a uh, pretty, nice, pretty nice little antenna. We're going to put it at a friend of mine's house. He's about 80 miles away and see if we can uh, do 6 meters for about 80 miles. Uh, he's a tech, so he has uh, privileges there. Hope you enjoy the video. Alright, this is a uh, Moxon, not my design. The design is by N1PCE, John Ryan, um, 2013. So check out his video if you want. Just put in uh, DIY 6 meter Moxon and it should come up. So here's my feed line. Then your coax goes up in there. This is your driven element right here. Comes around, hooks here. Now what I've, this little piece here is, um, that's just a uh, weed whacker line, weed trimmer. And then I just got the end, end so your, your driven unit ends here, same on both sides. And then your reflector is back here, which is a little bit longer. And it just goes all the way around. So I'll give you guys measurements later on all this stuff. I'll do a drawing of it. So I just use a T. Actually, all you need is a T here. But I ran a piece of wood through the middle of this little dowel just to give a little more strength. This is 3 quarter inch. It comes out to here, which is a reducer from 3 quarter inch to half inch comes to a T. Wow, really bright, sorry. Let me go the other end. Okay, so there's a T, same thing at this end, and then 245s, and the 245s bring it out to the edges here, and I just put slots. And uh, I'll give you measurements. Uh, this is 18 gauge wire, so if you use something similar, you should come out pretty close. This one's actually just a little low in the band. This one is at 1.35 at 50.125, which is the calling frequency. So there's another little look at there. Now I did glue that, the, the ends all the way to this point, and then I used screws the rest of the way so I could take it apart if I had to. Still pretty compact. So there's the uh, the middle of it. Just over a hole is a piece of plexiglass, and you got your two ends come in here. Basically, it's a folded dipole, I guess is what you'd really call it. So a mox and antenna, and I just have it on a piece of PVC that I mount that to a pole, a metal pole, just to keep it away from the metal to start with. But it's basically set up for portable use. Okay, this is the drawing best I could draw it. I'm not a I'm not I'm no artist, that's for sure. Yeah, this is the reflector. This is the reflector back in this area. And this is a driven element here. The the uh, the width of the antenna is 83 inches here to here and here to here. You have a 16 and a half inch piece here on the reflector, a spacer which is five and a half inches and then the side of the driven element is eleven and a half inches and this is the PVC frame inside here if, I mean I got all the measurements there, there's a T here, that's where it comes up from it's three quarter inch from here to here reducers on each end to reduce to half inch, that's just to make it lighter, you don't have to do that 
Then you have a 45 on each side here. And from that corner of that 45, it's 19 inches to the corners, all four. This piece here is six inches across to the outside of the 45 corners. You have 35, 30 and a, excuse me, 30 and a half inches from the center to this cross piece here on both sides. Um, this is the front of the antenna here. So, that, so your radiating is going to go that direction. This is your back, your reflector. So when you, you always want to point this to whoever you hear, and that it'll get louder um, as you point it as you get closer to them. These antennas are really wide banded. I'll, I'll give you a. I did a, a, a test on it, and I, it, sh it tells like 4.0 on the width, the bandwidth. Um, so it should easily cover the whole band. Now these measurements are 18 gauge wire that I bought from Home Depot. Your mileage may vary with different sizes of wire and different types of wire because of the velocity factor. But this should get you really close. Um, you shouldn't be too far off right here. And basically this five and a half is the critical measurement from what I understand. And these, and, and what I did the other day is I actually shortened this a half an inch on both sides of the, excuse me, I shortened this, the driven a half an inch and it brought it down because it's a little bit on the long side, but it's still plenty good. It's like 1.35 and really no reason to mess with that. This is two elements. I think it's like six DBI, something like that. Pretty good front to back. There are Moxon calculators online you can go to and you put in your frequency so you can make these for any any band really 20 is, a, is probably a pretty good one also because it's it keeps it fairly small that's the, with the bending in in the on the sides of the dipole basically this is a dipole oh and this right here uh, arbitrary two inches in between the two the two this is a wire and this is a wire so i have two inches on the piece of plexiglass there for the space and then and then your your coax, I had a coax connector here, and, and then you run your coax into the middle pole and then down the pole. You can put supports out here also to help keep it in line, but I've never, I don't, I've never really needed that part, so I wouldn't bother with that. If the drawing's not clear enough, you know, pause the video and uh, jot down some figures yourself there if you want to. Well, I hope you liked the video. Um, it's a pretty good little antenna. These these moxins are very wide banded. Uh, it'll cover, I'm sure the basically it covers the whole the whole range of the six meter band, no problem. Um, if if you're not familiar with these, they they don't get a lot of popular uh, press, but they're really great little antennas, easy to make, and they save some space. Um, in the bigger models, guys will actually do uh, multi bands, kind of like a hex beam. So if you enjoy this. Hit that like, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell so you get future videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY, Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for joining me.